Photoshop is a very powerful application, but one area probably it's fairly weak in is probably gradients and certainly, uh, um, well, different gradients, different types of gradients. Uh, there's applications like Sumo Paint where you can find a whole range of like fractal gradient designs. But in Photoshop, all you've really got is linear, radial, angle, reflected and diamond. But you can actually uh, use those to great effect by... Uh, um, obviously using things like transformations and warping and in this quick video I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, create a slightly more interesting uh, gradient though unfortunately of course as with all these gradients you can't actually change them once you've actually created the uh, design so now I'm just going to quickly clear this screen I'm just going to go to fill and white just get rid of those now just go to the gradient tool and I've got the gradients here and I've actually pre-created a gradient, so I'm just going to quickly show you the gradient. Now, one of the gradients type of things I like is to actually create them with transparency. So I've actually just go there. So there's opacity I've set to zero and opacity set to zero. And now this is on both sides of the gradient. So they're both zero. And in the center, there's actually a 100, 100 set in there. And obviously, I've actually just used the standard gradient and just edited that so uh, just click OK at that point right now I'm just going to use the radial option but first things I'm going to create it on a layer because I want to do a transformation so I'm just going to go to layer layer new layer okay and I'm just going to quickly apply a gradient and there a one gradient and as it's uh, on a layer I can now go to the edit transform warp and one thing i would really really love to see in a future version of photoshop would be some actually slightly different warps and than this obviously you've got the different options here but uh, it'd be nice if you could have sort of a greater range and this three is really quite limiting but anyway that's a different issue so i'm now just going to go and warp this gradient design and i'm just going to obviously you can play around with it yourself if you want to create different sort of designs. So I'm just going to stretch it different angles and of course tweak it around. Now I actually quite like to uh, create a sort of uh, twisted and distorted gradient so it's like a flame like gradient there. Yep, at that point I'm just going to click OK and the gradient. So now you've actually got a very fairly interesting unusual gradient which of course you could create but it'd be really nice if the actual Photoshop actually came with options to create these uh, these gradients of course even better would be an actual live gradient feature in the application so you could actually edit the uh, gradient layer at a later point without obviously just deleting it and then recreating it now it would be that would be quite useful but anyway now now you've got it as a layer I can actually of course create multiple layers duplicate layer okay duplicate layer again I'm going to just create a couple of these so just quickly show you now now you can actually of course rotate the layers now another thing you could do at this point before you actually do anything and actually I think I could actually have created them as smart objects that would actually be even easier because then at that point you can actually go back to the uh, design the initial design and uh, obviously uh, put a different gradient into the uh, smart object but I'm not going to show you on that one but uh, just as sort of a side Click OK. So you can just basically rotate these gradients. Tweak those, move them around if you wish. You want to create a sort of unusual shape. Go over to the layer palette. I'll just move that one out slightly. And you can twist that around again. Have those sort of blending in. Okay, there and then and of course at that point you can actually start blending the gradient so you can actually create sort of obviously I could have moved that one now up above so I'm just going to go to that one select that one and, and I can just move that up and actually have that blend in there or I could turn it around full 180 if it's going to do it it's going to do it at some point doesn't want to move right 
and I could just keep playing around and twisting around until I'm actually quite happy with the uh, the design. And of course, at this point, of course, you could also use blending modes as well. So, you know, you can just layer out these things. You can also use them as a source for a pattern design. So you can go use the new deco scripts in uh, CS6. So you can create some really weird, this could actually just be a source for a pattern fill. And then you can sort of fill the entire document with random designs on that. And so you also you can use blending modes to actually blend the design so you don't actually have to see the design. You can actually create that sort of thing, just difference. Create a sort of weird sort of uh, glass effect in the, the grain just by moving it over there slightly. Or darken and so on and so on. There's li literally infinite amount of different designs you can use with gradients. And of course, now at this point, you can again go back to the uh, warping tool and warp the design again to create even slightly more oddball uh, sort of gradient designs.